I'm straight, and I got some a group of guys that's really about some business here, you know. Uh -huh. So that's how the name came about, Proper okay. Utensils. So you got the proper utensils now. Oh yeah. And that, that, now you doing your thing. You got um, this go go rump shaker happening too. Um, <laughs> that's something. That's something I, I had to had to mention because um, everybody just got on it so quick. I mean, because I remember when you were talking about the group, you said, well, no, come on in. I don't think, you know, I don't know. I, I want everything to be just right. But it seems like everybody in D.C. kind of forced you into making this one. Because, I mean, it was something <laughs> that you were just doing, and it was so tight. I was saying, Paul, y'all tight. Well, oh, well, we're going to work on some other things and this and that, and bam. <laughs> here you go. You got um, Go Go Rum Shaker. Well, believe it or not, it was just a jam. Uh-huh. It was just a jam part, one part of our segment of the show, you know, and, uh, Gary Drew, you know Gary Drew, one of, one of the DJs of the city. Right. He wanted to put it on one of his mix shows on a, the New Year's Eve on KYS. Uh huh. And so he take that segment of the show and put it in his set. And next thing I know, KYS got it. Bam! Hummina, 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 hummina. There it is. There it is. Hey, there 900, it is. 900. Right. Now, um, as far as merging all the guys together that you have, I mean, you have a. Uh, Conglomeration. I won't say collaboration. I have to say a conglomeration of guys that I mean have been in the music business for quite some time, and I mean it's seen to come together well for you. Yeah, well, uh, I needed some experience, cats. You know, uh, uh -huh. that was the only way because I wasn't trying to start from the beginning, even though we kind of are. You know right. what I'm saying? But uh, I need some experienced cats, you know, with their own personalities, you know. Uh -huh. Me, you know, then Big Lil' Benny, uh, Roy Battle, Out of Sight, Mike, Mike Muse, uh -huh. and a few of us. We got, we got one baby in the group, okay. and uh, <laughs> so, we, we nurturing him, you know. Right. So, now, uh, I don't want to cut you off, but I know we're going to talk about this down the road because I know... You, Benny, Lawrence, Godfather, DC, all y'all go back to the days of the Maverick Room, High Theater, Panorama Room, uh, Northwest Guards. But check it out. Right now, we're going to do a powerhouse. We're going to kick a video, and when we come back, we'll be talking to Entertainer James Funk and Little Benny. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Little Benny, yes, the man yes, that's down yes. with proper utensils. Now, you got your own group, too, as, yeah, as a matter of fact. But I just work around with me and Funk doing it. Uh -huh. Funk thing is first. Oh, okay. That's, that's what time it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I mean, you go back to the days, like I said, before the break, um, Northwest Gardens, I mean, the Panorama Room, Club of the Burn. Yeah. Everybody remember. Later on, the Paragon 2 came into play. There you go. Yeah, you know, but um, now, I want to see how, how it was that you even became a part of um, property utensils and decided, hey, we're going to okay. make this work here. Well, the thing was, when... Um, Funk had stepped out from Rasmus for a while. He had came through a couple of my shows and, you know, got up there and hollered at the peak, the crowd. And, um, they responded. They responded. So I seen something right there. And I, I always said, well, if I get an opportunity, me and we can get together and hook back up. So, mm -hmm. so I was trying to feed in, tell them come on over here and play my group. And uh, the rest of the guys who was playing, uh, practicing with Funk Group, they kept calling me saying, man, come on out here and practice with Funk Group. Come on, get mm -hmm. that spot. Right. So I say, kept calling Funk. Funk, what you gonna do? What, what's up? So he said, I'm gonna call you. He never called me, uh -huh. right? So I had to make it my business to go out there and claim mine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> so, you know, from there, everything, I mean, we got to practicing, stuff started clicking, we got in practice, things working. It was just like, have reminisce. Old times. Old, old times. Time. Old times. Now look, uh, Funk, now I know you and Benny, you and Benny, don't want me to bring this up. I know it was, uh, where was where it was, drop it off, drop it off. <laughs> Back in the day, uh, on stage, you and Benny, I mean, y'all, well, as Funk, y'all doing the band's thing, uh, Red Essence, Chicken, and all of a sudden, it's just Funk and Benny, Spotlight is on Funk and Benny. I mean, do you remember, can well, you remember that? Uh, you remember? Oh, I, Believe me, <laughs> believe me, the audience will not let us forget, That's believe right. that. But um, believe it or not, me and Benny would not fight. Me and Benny was arguing. We was just having words, you right. know what I'm saying? Uh, it was me and another member of the group. We were fighting. Was it me? <laughs> I'ma stop. I'ma stop. I'ma stop. But, but what happened? Oh, what happened to a minute? 
No, we just got the, you know, uh, back then, you know, uh, Eagles were in play. Uh -huh. uh, you know, back then, I, that was when I was, I guess, the height, the height of my drug addiction started, you mm -hmm. know, so that and, you know, thinking I'm God and stuff like that, right, you know right. what I'm saying, uh, bumped heads. But, you know, that was, that was one of the worst, that was the worst experience I've ever had as an entertainer. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I regret that it ever happened, but I've learned from that, you know, mm -hmm. so I vowed from that day on that I would never stick myself out in a position like that again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and even even after that, I don't think did she leave after that? Um nah, I no, no. that didn't lead to uh, when I did that Who Comes to Boogie and it broke overseas. Uh-huh. And then Who comes I guess we got in some type of conflict uh -huh. is a lot of things start shaking. So right. I just said, Let me go try it myself. Right. Then I got home, thought about it a couple of years. Do I wanna do this? Right. <laughs> I think me and Paul will hook up. You know, and I never told, you know, told you. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I did beg you to stay. Didn't I mm -hmm. beg you to stay? Yeah, 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 you were saying something, and I was, even I guess, we I had, even, even though we had our differences, you know, it's, it was, because uh, I hate to see him go. Right. Him, all of them, you know, right. at the time, right. you know. Like we that. Because it was, it was a family. Right. And, and, you know, at that time, we was, like, younger. You it's know, slamming fam and Families growing. do fight. Uh, Families do fight. Oh, exactly. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, they all fight. But check it out. What we're going to do on Powerhouse, we're going to get back to these two. The entertainer James Fong himself. <laughs> <laughs> and check it out. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to.